Hello, today I will show you how I make my clay, a clay, a volcanic primary clay, which is found on the island of Tenerife. And uh, it's a kind uh, of clay which can take up very much water. And so you need a lot of sand, and here we have some uh, black volcanic sand, um, which uh, is very, very strong. And, uh, when the mountain is open at some slope you can see the deposits of the ashes of the volcanic ashes and they are red it comes from the uh, red iron oxide it also has some um, white material which could be um, magnesium or, or calcium uh, products and uh, these uh, clays are transported from with water to uh, form some secondary deposits and there you can see the different layers um, of volcanic ashes which are washed out uh, building some very fine um, uh, clay underneath um, uh, when it's dried you see this uh, dark lines and uh, then you know that uh, you have found the volcanic clay you can collect it and uh, pass it through a strainer to, se a strainer to select out some stones. This is a strainer and this is a stirrer. It's uh, not just uh, two rods lashed together and uh, at the end is a plate of iron. And you can stir uh, this and uh, put some water in it so that the stones um, can deposit at the at the bottom of this container and could be selected out and then pass the mixtures through a strainer in into uh, a drying box and y you see the rest uh, of stones which which are in this deposits of clay this is uh, my drying box it's made out of wood and it has uh, uh, something special inside and it's important that the air can pass underneath this box so uh, it could dry uh, very fast. Um, well, I often uh, making some pit of some grove in my floor and uh, then uh, I put uh, in this grove uh, some kind of beauty bag and uh, put in uh, my mixture and let it dry and there you see a very very dry uh, uh, substance of clay um, but uh, this is the clay which comes out of the drying box in the floor is uh, a layer of plaster and this plaster can suck off uh, water but be careful not uh, that uh, the plaster could uh, could not break and 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 come into the clay uh, because otherwise your your clay will be uh, crashed and then we have to talk about organic substances which I uh, have to ingredient. That is aloe vera, it's a polysaccharide, it's a very slimy water uptaking substance, it's very good for, for the hands and I use it and when I can find it I use cow dung. Cow dung uh, contains uh, microbes uh, that could uh, decomposite the organic substances uh, which I will put in. For example, I put in some sawdust and uh, uh, let it take up water and wait and also some ashes unorganic ashes ashes from uh, the fire i make the alkaline substances that uh, are useful that the particles uh, uh, dissolve them uh, very easy and then it's uh, our product and uh, we let it mature a lot of time, putting in some uh, wet cloth over it and give him a time to fermentate about one year if you like. But you can use it, then put it in a, in a barrel with water, some wet cloth is above and uh, so I make my organic volcanic clay and uh, if you want to see uh, more of my work, uh, you're invited uh, to visit uh, my homepage.
Thank you for listening. Goodbye.